Hello everyone, this is Monica Kenton at MonicaKenton.com and today I am talking about the energy of now and so a lot of what's going on more of the energy of May so I'm going to talk a little bit about that and then just kind of get into what's been going on for so many people. So this year is all about conscious reinvention, right? And so it is doing it differently than it's been done in the last nine years and that takes a little bit of a kind of tricky maneuvering because we're so programmed in how to how to do things, right? To kind of push to 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 you know to to work super hard to get things going to move it on our own and now we're getting the opportunity to truly align with spirit in a deeper way right and that is the beginning of this nine year cycle and at the same time what this conscious reinvention is so this month of May is all about change so those of you who love change I'm a change baby I love change but some people don't really get into it because they're just like I don't want to change because you know it's 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 uncomfortable we don't know what it is and all of those kinds of things but change happens anyhow right we're seeing it with the changes of the cycles and change is always going to be happening so what's going on for this month is all about change adventure excitement um, the, the foreign uh, getting access to new spiritual knowledge and all of this kind of thing can be really exciting those who really have change energy one of the things that's going to happen and probably started happening at the end of April is that whole energy where all of a sudden you're just like oh I want to um, move I want to let go of this or do this or do that because um, just feeling like maybe the movement is going to actually create the change but this is really a deep inner change that's going on how is your changing from that inside from that energetic from that spiritual place actually going out in a bigger way so it's not so much that you have to push 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 shift and and move and all of that that actually as you start to change that inner terrain of yours things are going to um, shift for yourself as well. So we have that change piece that's going on and how you deal with change is this whole, is, is what's happening as well. And it has a strong um, balance edge to it. So balance is all about um, being able to balance work and home, uh, the spiritual and the practical, uh, being able to take care of your body. So you're going to feel like, you know, some of you have been hammered, meaning that you're super tired, exhausted because you've been pushing too hard, right? Because you've been trying to do how you used to do it. And so it's now it's about doing it in that new way. So balance is going to be a huge piece going back and forth between that old person of you that wanted to push things forward and the other person who's just like, you know what, when I really step in, in and um, take care of my body take some time off and rejuvenate to be able to give more right and that is the thing because so often all of us who are you know if you're watching this you're one of these people who wants to make a change in the world and with that is always helping others and helping people to change in, in a deep way and it also is making sure that you are refueling yourself so this balance is going to be a huge piece for everyone and then there is a strong um, power edge to it so and power is you know you can see it from that whole energy of um, push control um, aggressive getting things done uh, being in charge of your business knowing what to do knowing what action sometimes it can be the bull in the China shop you know right just kind of pushing things away and pushing things around and the thing is is to really get an alignment with power in a different way you're being called to connect in with your spiritual power you had a lot of spiritual pieces coming in over in April when you were changing your different foundations where all of a sudden these ideas might have come in kind of like is this kind of crazy or can I really do this that now you're getting the opportunity to see how can you create it how can you bring form to it but you you need to change the way that you look at things right and so that is what this energy is so you're gonna see a lot of um, power pieces out there you might see it in the politics you might see it where people are trying to push their agendas and the thing is for you is to make sure that you step off of that power triangle and really hone in with what you're wanting to connect in with and that is really spiritual power spiritual power is all about being in alignment being in alignment with with your body your, um, your mental your emotional your spiritual all of that aligned and as far as and having aligned action as well so it's not um, just kind of you know so often we want to do um, throwing spaghetti on the wall until it sticks and it's really about getting strategic and thinking 
what is that spaghetti that I'm meant to be putting on the wall? Or what is that that I'm meant to be bringing out? That is really the energy of what's going on. And it's because you connect in more from that intuitive place, from that inspirational place. However, that is going to be fried out and won't work if you're trying to push it. And if you forget about the sacred altar of your body and giving yourself time off and honoring that time off instead of constantly thinking about things. So the other energy of what is going on as well with this month is what was happening for you in February, okay? Because February was kind of the portal in to May. And I believe I was saying that back in February. In February, there was all of these things where it was really about your um, creative, who are you relating to, but there was also a, a, an energy of pivoting, right? And so I talked a lot in February about how are you pivoting and shifting and, and, and all of that. So that energy, that go back into your journals. That's why it's so important to have one, right? Go back into your journals, go back into your memories, um, go back into your Facebook, right? And, and check to see what was going on for you in February that are the clues for this new shift and change that's going on right now. So I always tell people what happens during a whole year is we get signs, you know, starting from last September, we we're getting signs of how to really approach this year, right? And so often we're dealing with all of these things and we wait and wait and wait. We get these ideas, we get these signs, and we wait until September until something either the idea disappears or something falls flat, or we are forced to make the change. So right now, it's all, it's really about honoring that spiritual connection and making with ease and grace, taking the knowledge that Spirit God Universe is giving to you right now, instead of waiting until September to have it just knock you over the head. You know, be it um, that you're not taking care of your body, or you're not act, acting on your creative urges, or you're not, you know, just not living life in the way that you're meant to. So um, that, I guess, is some of the energy that I'd like to just be sharing with you because it is coming out super strong. So there is also, oh yeah, so I have my sticky note, right? My beautiful sticky note. So the other piece also is about old stories. So any of the old stories that you've been telling yourself about um, self-worth, doubt, confidence, um, you know, it's not time, any of that kind of stuff, it can't live in this energy right now. Not in this new paradigm that we're really stepping into. So it will just hold you back. It'll keep you stuck. So releasing those old stories, and they're going to be the ones that you are so sick of telling yourself over and over and over. And, you know, everybody else is not is getting sick of them too, as well as God's spirit universe as well, right? They're wanting new stories from you. And so the other piece is old passion. What, so I think, I don't know if it cut off, but what are these old passions of yours that are stepping up that all of a sudden are coming back in, but they're wanting to have a new creative twist with them as well. So um, these are my old passions, my, my paintings and things from 2007, 2008, 2009. And, you know, I put them aside for a real long time for the reasons I needed to. So what are the old passions of yours that are really um, starting to come up? You're thinking, I don't know what to do with them. Let them flow, let them come out and then figure out what is the new twist to them? What is the new thing that you're going to be doing? Because that we are in a new energy, but really tapping into the things that give you joy, the things that excite you, the things that make you feel more alive, right? So like I said, this is a super big energy of balance. And so making sure to keep that, you know, connecting in with the spiritual as well as the practical, you know, and some people go on either end. I went way deep into the spiritual, the other, you know, lately. And so I am just needing to do more of the practical and um, relax and chill out a little bit more. But everybody is different. So what is it for you? How are you going to approach change? And realize that change is just giving you that opportunity, right? If somebody all of a sudden says no to you on something or doesn't accept your project or um, doesn't show up for a call, just realize that, that the universe is shutting that door for you so you do not have to go down that path, right? So take the energy, 
have fun with it, enjoy, and I will be sharing some more when the time is right. So uh, here in Minnesota, it is freaking 73, 74 degrees out, so I'm going for a walk. And uh, yeah, Minnesotans, we know how to have fun when, it's, when it gets to be nice and warm. We go out and have a great time. So have a wonderful weekend. Um, let, let the passions bubble up. Let the change shift. Feel the excitement, the adventure, and be able to shift and change in an easy way so that um, come September, you're really rocking it out. Okay, talk to you later. And um, you want to know more? Go to monicakenton.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.